for this project, we are going to focus on the element color. You will need your elements booklet and tracer from the last video, a pencil, and your choice of media, possibly scissors, glue, or a permanent marker. Let's take a look at the different color schemes we could use. Warm colors are red, orange, and yellow. The opposite of that is cool colors, which is green, blue, and purple. Then we have complementary colors, which is red and green, blue and orange, and purple and yellow. Then we have monochromatic colors, which is one color, just lighter or darker. And then we have analogous color schemes, which is any two or three colors that touch each other on the color wheel. Like purple, red, and orange, or yellow, green, and blue. In this project, you are going to create a color scheme using your silhouette. You can showcase warm colors, analogous colors, complementary colors, or monochromatic colors in your panel. Label your color scheme on the back side of your panel. The first thing you're going to do is trace your image that you made in the last video into the center of your panel. Now you're going to add color. I decided to use watercolors, but remember, it is your choice. I'm going to show you several different examples in this video. In this example, I'm using analogous colors. I'm using red, purple, and blue. They all touch each other on the color wheel. If you're using watercolors, make sure to let it dry. I am going back and adding more details to the inside of my hummingbird, and then I'm going to add color. I decided that I wanted the focus of this panel to be on the analogous colors, so I decided to color it in with a black Sharpie marker. Remember to always label the element on the back of that panel. This one is color, so I will label it color. Also, label the color scheme. Mine was analogous colors. And here's my first example using analogous colors and watercolor. Now for example number two. For this example, I'm using complementary colors, orange and blue. Remember to follow all of the same steps that I did in the first example. I decided that using just one orange and one blue would be too boring, so I decided to mix and blend my different colors together. And here is example number two, and example number three. Following all of the same steps, on this one, I'm going to be showing you the monochromatic scheme. One color, just lighter and darker. So I have several different shades of purple. You can also see another element of art in this project, value. That is what makes it look 3D. That is the shadows and the highlights that you see on here. Here is example number three completed. And one final example number four. This time I'm going to be showing you warm colors. That is red, orange, and yellow. 
also this technique of coloring with washable markers. And then I will take a paintbrush in water only and just paint over it and watch the colors blend together. It's a pretty fun technique. Try it. I hope you got some great ideas and techniques and different things for you to try. Remember, be creative and create your own.